one, but as for the women, we've got a year two head coach in Toyo Wilson. High expectations for this team. When you think about it, they were picked 10th in the preseason poll a year ago. Here they are now picked at number three. Brooke, what is impressing you most about the job that Coach Wilson has done there so, so early? Wow. You know, WNIT in your first season, and so the Mustangs have not reached the NCAA tournament, tournament in 13 years. This could be that year. I hear about Coach Wilson from other coaches across the country. That's how you know you're doing a good job. Hey, did you hear about Toyo Wilson at SMU? Look what she's doing to turn that program around. So I think it's just really exciting, and it, they have a couple of 1,000-point scores on their squad. They got a good non-conference schedule. That's what impresses me, Mark. Oklahoma, Baylor, Cal, and Texas A&M. Go get those dubs. <laughs> Eight players back, too, so that experience of playing together certainly is going to help Coach Wilson and her team. And now Coach Wilson joins us here in the American Studios. And, Coach, for this team, high expectations. Why are they so warranted for this group from what you're seeing right now in practice? I mean, you, you guys already said it. The big thing with us is that experience that we have back. Um, they all have one year under their belts, and they kind of know what um, we're bringing to the table. Our expectations are much higher, and – um, you know, I think it's a testament to our program and the kids that we have here and um, being picked so high. And that was our expectation, regardless of what was the selection. Um, we don't pay attention to those because um, it's really about other people's opinion. But it's, it's a testament to the, the coaches in our conference. But it's a great league. And we're really excited to um, set a different standard uh, for this program. Hey, we'll go right to questions from uh, members of the media. We'll start with uh, Jordan Hopkins, please, from Pony Stampede. Coach, you mentioned, you know, you guys have your own expectations, but maybe, you know, being picked 10th last year, finishing fifth, making it to the semifinals, you won't catch anybody off guard this year. Does that change any way that you approach anything? Um, or do you guys just say, look, we're picked to finish third now. Let's let's go out and, and prove them right or or do even better, prove them wrong. Yeah, well, we want to. We came here to win championships. Every kid that came in this program, we want to win a championship, and that's our expectation. That's our standard. Uh, but I think the thing that the girls are doing this year, very early that we didn't do last season, was we're competing every practice. Uh, we're making each other better every practice. Um, uh, we have kids that obviously with Savannah and Jasmine, um, they both know what it takes, and and they've been in that college uh, kind of situation and where you're competing at the highest level and we have a great conference here and we just want our girls to um, be ready and that's why our conference we, we scheduled the way we did out of conference because we wanted to be um, get some competition to be challenged early in in November and that's what we're doing so that we're ready for conference starting early and, and at the end of December. Again please use the raise hand feature in the zoom if you'd like to ask a question. Uh, Jordan if you have a follow-up Feel free as well. Um, obviously, a lot of experience coming back and some some top level experience. But you also brought in a a high high quality recruiting class. How do you kind of see some of those younger players fitting in and and maybe getting a, a chance early in their their college careers? They're definitely going to get a chance um, with you know obviously Jaya Perry coming from Desoto and um, we have TK Pitts coming from Oklahoma and. We have a couple transfers also with uh, Shantae Embry from Texas Tech and, and Jessica Peterson from Fresno State. And, and they have a couple years of experience in, or a year of experience in college. And we're asking everyone to come here to be able to contribute immediately. And the expectation in the bar is high, like I said already. And so every day they're learning, and that's the big thing, learning the pace of the game in college, learning the plays, learning how to play hard for a long period of time. And um, I love that we have a little bit of everything. We have grad we have grad kids, we have seniors, we have juniors, we have transfers, and then we have our freshmen. And so they're the, the, the one good thing is that our kids from returning are leading the young kids. And when you can get that where your veterans are leading the newbies and the, and the freshmen, um, you guys have a really good team, and that's why the chemistry is so good. Hey, Coach Wilson, Brooke Weisbrod here in the studio. Uh, congratulations on a very successful first year. And I, I know you, you very much have a team environment, team mindset, but Savannah Wilkinson leading the conference with 14 double-doubles this year, preseason first team, uh, American Conference member. Make a case for her as the player of the year. Well, it's funny, Brooke, and, and thanks for that. But uh, she said, you know, Coach, I, I just want to win a championship. All the other stuff doesn't matter. 
So for her, that's the type of kids we want though in our program and, and that's what she just said in the locker room. We get we practice in the mornings and so we didn't see all this until after uh, we finished practice and she's like, Coach, that's, that doesn't mean anything if we don't win a championship, but she's a competitor. She wants to win. Um, she's going to do anything it takes for our team to win. Um, but, you know, I think a lot of people are going to be surprised with, with Jasmine Smith and how, you know, my first year I had to get her to beg her to score and look to score, and she did that car towards the end of last year. But now it's like she knows that she's out there to be one of the leading our team. And um, so that's what I'm really excited about, the kids that uh, aren't getting that recognition right now. And um, Savannah's going to bring everything. She brings it every day to practice, so does Jazz. And um, so I'm really excited for I, I know they're probably sick of playing each other every day and competing against each other, but they're making each other better, and they're just ready to see somebody else. Coach Wilson, Mark Adams in studio, I snuck into your practice last year, and thank you for not throwing me out, first of all. I appreciate <laughs> that. But I didn't know at the time that you were the first female black head coach in SMU history. How does that make you feel, and how can you use that as an example for others? Well, it's humbling. It's a blessing. Um, it's an opportunity, and and. For me, it's, it's that someone else of my same color can see that I can do something that's never been done before. And um, the next person, I'm not going to be the first and or I'm not going to be the last. Uh, so I'm really just humbled. I didn't know that when I first got here. And I just want to come in here and, and do something special. I came here to win. I came here to win championships. And um, so did every coach here and every uh, player here. And so I'm just take it day by day and, and work my hardest and give um, everything I have into the games. It's given so much to me. Uh, so I'm just excited every day to be here and be at SMU and for all the support that they give women's basketball. Thank you. Coach Wilson, thank you so much for taking the time to join us. Really looking forward to seeing here what your team can do. High expectations and very excited. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Pony up. Brooke, you asked about Savannah Wilkinson, and one of the things that Coach Wilson had said the first time I talked to her was the individual piece has to be a backseat to success, and certainly she's built that with this roster. How has she done it, though, so quickly? Well, I think everybody buys in, and it sounds like they have a coach who really understands the pieces that are necessary. You have vets, you've got new players, you've got some transfers, all that comes together, and, and they all buy into something bigger than themselves, which is the team. When your best player is saying things like, I don't care about awards, I care about cutting down the nets, that's the right mentality to have. So that's what made them successful in their first year. This team, you know, we always try to fight for more teams in the postseason than the American. And this could be that year because they're scheduling hard games outside their conference early on. That's what it's going to take to get the attention of the NCAA tournament come the end of the year. They're going to look and say, oh, okay, you beat a pretty good Oklahoma team, pretty good Texas A&M team, and a Baylor team. Yeah, we want you in. This is a professional broadcast. In any professional broadcast, you have to have a good tease for your next guest, right? <laughs> Jasmine, Smith, Jasmine Smith is my favorite college basketball player in the country, and soon we'll learn why. Mic drop. Woo, I can't wait. I'm, in, I, I'm eager to hear. Uh, Jasmine Smith, she brings a winning pedigree. She came from Rice, uh, WNIT, under her belt. So right from the get-go last season, voted captain by her teammates. So impressive. And, again, she's with the Mustangs, and she's now with us here in the studios. Jasmine, it's great to be with you. Uh, Mark gave us a great tease. But before we get to that, we're going to go ahead and get to the members of the media standing by who have some questions for you. All right. Thanks, Morgan, and thanks, Jasmine, for joining us. We'll get uh, right to questions with Jordan Hopkins, please, from Pony Stampede. Hey, Jasmine, and Coach talked about this, that kind of those outside expectations don't really mean a whole lot, but does it mean something when you see other people in, in the outside part of the conference recognize what you guys did last year and, and kind of put, put a, a spot for you guys to, to finish pretty high in, in this conference? Yes. Um, I will say that it's nice. Um, last year, we I think we were ranked kind of second to last, and now we're third. So I will say that it's nice to see that people respect our game now. They see what we were able to do. They see what we're able to do in the future now. So, um, But that's kind of where it stops for us. Um, we really focus on what we can control. We don't really focus on external opinions, just making sure that we can 
focus on what we need to do, focus on our culture, focus on what we can be responsible for, and making sure that we can execute that every single day. And again, anyone else with questions, please use the raise hand feature. Uh, Jordan, the floor is yours for a follow-up if you'd like. And then just the other thing, what's it like playing for coach? I mean, you, you see her talk and she just kind of has this energy to her that you, you kind of feel like you guys build off of it. Just what's it like playing for her and, and going through practices with her and, and games with her? Playing for coach is fun. Um, she makes sure that it's lively every day, but we make sure that we're getting our job done. So she's a friend and a coach. She's going to make sure that you're taken care of, but at the end of the day, she's going to make sure that you're held accountable and that you're going to be the best person um, that you can possibly be. So it's been fun. I've learned a lot from her, from her since I've been here, and I can't wait to see what we can do. Jasmine Smith, this is Mark Adams in studio. And while we've never met, I want to tell you that you are my favorite college basketball <laughs> player in the country, and I want to tell you why. In doing research for our show today, I stumbled upon your LinkedIn page, and I want to make sure I get this right. You have the oh, best goodness. LinkedIn page of any college basketball player in the country. <laughs> you are a CRE analyst. You interned at Hunt Realty Investments. You are a pharmacy technician. You're a research assistant and a policy research intern. You have a master's in business and in management, and your undergrad was at Rice. How did you accomplish you right. all this at your age? Um... <laughs> Thank you for looking at my LinkedIn. I worked a lot on that, so I appreciate that. But I will say <laughs> I did have great mentors um, starting at Rice, and they really focused on time management. And even at SMU, I've been able to find great mentors that continue to hone in on those time management skills and just making sure that I prioritize what's best for me um, and just making sure that I find great connections and making sure that I built the skills that I need on and off the court. So it's been a good career. Jasmine, I asked you to link in with me yesterday. I still don't have a response. <laughs> I'm, 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 listen, sorry, I'm not a stalker. I'm really not. I'm just a college <laughs> basketball analyst. You, you got to go out to your LinkedIn. I want to be part of your network. I want to follow your success, okay? I got you right after this. I promise I do. Good. Mark really needs to, uh, he needs to get your, your friendship on that LinkedIn level. He's got to get the hookup. Uh, this is Brooke Weisbrod in studio as well. You know, Coach Wilson told us that she, she had to, to force you to start shooting the ball. So I'm wondering, now that you're, you're embracing offense, how much do you enjoy it? Um, yeah, you're right. Coach T did have to, she was pretty much like shaking my shoulders at one point, like just to get me to shoot. But it's nice. Um, it's nice being able to see the work that I put in in the summer come to fruition, um, especially now that the ball is going through the hoop. Um, last year, I didn't have as much confidence in my shot, but like I just said, putting in that work, I do have a lot more. So I'm ready to see how, what it looks like. Jasmine, we're ready to see what it looks like, too. We cannot wait to see what the Mustangs have in store this season, and we appreciate you taking the time to join us here today. Thank you for having me.